Hi folks, Thomas Sinson here with thomasinson.com and today is another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. And so today's question comes in from a viewer and it's around the differences between a computer science degree versus a data science degree and specifically which one they should choose for being a data scientist, right? So find out my thoughts on the differences between computer science and data science degrees and you know how you should, how you should approach the learning process or deciding process for college right after this. All right, without further ado, today's question, if you have one, throw it in the comment section here below, do my best to answer them. So, I got admitted to two universities in Europe. Congratulations, that's really awesome, really, really fun time. I mean, these are good problems to have trying to decide between these two. Uh, one of them, University of Kyle for Masters in Computer Science, and one of them, University of Antwerp for Masters in Data Science. All right, so we're talking about, um, looks like uh, master's degrees. Really, really awesome, congratulations. Uh, I want to build my career in data science. I'm highly confused right now regarding which I want to go for. Of course, MS and CS will have many subjects as, of data as an elective, but overall, is that a good option over the master's degree in data science? So once again, congratulations. These are, these are great problems to have, right? Try, trying to decide, got two accepted letters, and it's like, all right, do I want to go this path of computer science? I'm gonna go to this pass of data science. Um, for me, not being a data science, so you know, take take my advice with you know how, however you want in your in your process, right? Like I don't want you to make your decision solely on this, but I'll tell you how I would approach it, and hopefully that can help you in your decision process. There's some other factors that we're gonna talk about that I think you need to think about whenever you're going through this process of deciding. But let's jump right into the technical portions and see how you know we would approach it there. For me, it looks it looks pretty cut and dry uh, for the most part, right? Like you know, without looking at the degrees uh, side by side, you know, specifically from each one of those college, if you look at a broad view, you're looking to be in data science, right? Like, you know, from a data science perspective, if that's what you want to do and that's what you want to go into, then definitely, you know, seems like a track that's specific to data science is going to be really amazing. Um, I know part of, you know, I know you're like, well, I mean, yeah, of course that seems, seems pretty easy, but part of it too, I, and I understand where you're coming from because I was in the same boat whenever I was going through and picking my degree and specifically when I went through and picked my master's, right? I had, I had a hard time deciding did I want to go MBA? Did I want to go CS? What if I picked the wrong one? So, I think you know if you're if you're looking to be in data science and you really want you know you really want to get involved in that community and that's your job, not not specifically a data engineer. Then I definitely think the data science career path is yours. You know you're gonna you wouldn't go wrong choosing either one. I'll say. And there's a lot of there's a lot of people that came from a computer science degree background that go into data science or stat statistician or you know there's a lot of people that have different ways and different paths to get there so you know if you're specifically wanting to be a data scientist right like we talked about it before so if you're wanting to be able to say hey heavy on math and understand you know different features and different different algorithms and how those are going to reflect and maybe give key answers to the questions that you're trying to solve definitely you know the data science path but if you want to be more, a little more hands-on as far as building and building out the architectures you know meeting with vendors you know writing software that are involved in data analysis and data processes building pipelines and, and being a little more hands-on from that technical piece then data engineer is really the path that you want to go so with that being said I did want to give you just my advice on on this like I know it's a tough decision I know you I know you're weighing both you know both both options but I don't think you would go wrong either one I do think it would probably be a little bit easier of a career path like I said, if you're wanting to go data science, to go the data data science route. Either way though, people start off and get degrees and go different routes later on in their career, right? Like so from a short-term perspective, it's really it is it, it is gonna make an impact, I think, for, from that perspective. But when you look at five, ten years and you're like, okay, you know, how did that go? I know I know people I've worked with that you know have non-technical degrees or maybe art degrees or or things that are you know outside the realm of software engineering. And they're some of the best software engineers out there and they've been doing it for 10, 15 years, you know, make tons of money and you've involved in the community and have a voice there too. So I I don't want you to get analysis paralysis of it from that perspective. But if you're looking solely based on like, okay, from a technical perspective, I want to be a data scientist in five years. I have two options here and you have the data I, I would probably lean towards the data science but all that being said and I think there's a couple other factors that are really gonna play into this and some of those are you know just specifically like which college do you want to go to right like location like you know from a location perspective you have family and friends that are located in, in one that's one that's closer to the other um, other people in your community or people 
you know, in the data science or data engineering community that you look up to that are more prevalent at one of the universities, right? Like, do you like some of the research papers from some of the professors that are there? Those are some factors, right, that, that you can look at that maybe it's like, hey, this data science pass, you know, looks really well, but there's a lot of really cool things, a lot of really cool research that are over here in that CS background that maybe I want to be a part of that, right, and see, you know, see how that goes. Definitely want to talk to those professors, build some kind of relationship with them to find out, you know, hey, you know, want to be involved and these are some of the options that I'm looking at and that can kind of help your decision making too. Um, and then, you know, like I said, you know, so many different other factors, you know, cost, other things that can go into it, but, you know, purely from a technical perspective, I don't think you're, I don't think you're going to go wrong with either one. I do think in the short term, going the data science route and being a data science, you know, if you want to be a data scientist, that would definitely be, you know, my, my pick. But, you know, if there's some other factors like, hey, more prevalent um, researchers or more interesting research for what you want to do, then, you know, definitely, definitely weigh all those factors too so congratulations again and thanks for asking the question here hope this advice was able to help you anybody else out there you know make sure you put something in the comment section here below if you have some advice on the on the topic or if you have a question that you want me to answer on the show so thanks again and i'll see you again next time on the episode of big taste big questions